the band playing behind me. It's the Beatles. Well, you know, the Beatles cover band, that is. But we've had so many exciting things happening all day long. It kicked off at noon. It continues until 9 o'clock tonight. A number of our Channel 7 personalities on hand. And also, I'm sure a lot of people remember this familiar face, Miss Erin Cummings from Detroit 187, which was a very popular show on our channel not too long ago. And when you were here, you made such a big impact in the community and continuing to do so, even though you no longer live in the area. Well, I feel like Detroit is kind of my adopted second home. Every time I come back to Detroit, there's so much love and support. People not only supporting the show, I still have people that say, oh my gosh, when are they bringing it back? And I go, let it go, people. However, you know, people still are donating the mittens for Detroit in our collection boxes. We have actually a new collection location around Michigan. 93 Starbucks locations are collecting mittens for Detroit, which is really exciting. So when you go for that morning cup of joe, make sure you bring a pair of mittens with you, a pair of new unused mittens. And now because of our wonderful partnership with Broner Hat and Glove, for every $10 donation made to MittensForDetroit.org, we can buy up to three pairs of really nice brand new gloves. So we're very excited. Well, and you also have a big event coming up tomorrow night at MGM. So tell us about that real quickly. Yes, it's our fourth annual, I can't believe it, Night of Giggles and Gloves, which is our comedy show fundraiser. This year it's starring Jackie the Joke Man Martling, who many people remember from the Howard Stern show. He, all, he now has his own radio show on Sirius Radio. He, he's a Michigan State grad, okay. so all the Spartans will want to come out for that. And also, award-winning local comedian Jeff Dwoskin. And uh, we have a newscaster who is going to be my co-host, but I don't know if I can say because it's a different network. Okay, we won't say it then. We won't say it, but he's no, really but awesome. <laughs> so come out. And we have some great silent auction items, including charity preview tickets, in case you couldn't make it this year, and a signed baseball by Max Scherzer. So for all those Tigers fans out we there, love it. you want to come out. Marin, thank you so much for continuing to make such a big difference in the community. We are so appreciative of people like you. And uh, you can check out her comedy a show tomorrow night at MGM. But come down to Family Day today. You have until, again, 9 o'clock tonight. And you can meet a lot of your favorite Channel 7 personalities and uh, several other stars like Aaron as well. So you won't want to miss it. No, it's been a great day. Aaron, thank you so much. Aaron and Aaron, thank you so much. Yeah. Good to see our Aaron back from maternity leave. Her Absolutely. beautiful little daughter. And yeah. she's back. So good to see her. I had a chance to go down there to Family Day earlier today when things were really heating up. A Michael Jackson performer warms up the Family Day crowd from the Kobo Center atrium at the Detroit Auto Show. There is face painting for the little ones and balloons too. This family day we're going to enjoy. It. Brought the little one out so he can have some fun, and the big people gonna have some fun too. But that's not the only entertainment Seven Action News provided. Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix drivers drawing crowds, signing autographs for race fans. I'm a big fan of all you guys. Family day, a chance for us to meet and greet our viewers. And you watch Seven? Oh yeah, all the time. Every, every day. day, every minute of every day. No, not every minute of every. What's wrong with you? <laughs> every evening, I'm at work. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a very good excuse. <laughs> Action News Family Day is fun for all ages, and you could get an autograph with Keenan, Julie, Vic, Brad, and Ronnie, and the Action News team. Maybe even kiss an anchor. <laughs> You're such a smart Alec. I think I still have a mark right there. <laughs> I think you do. You're right. They are celebrating their 50th anniversary tomorrow night, by the way, oh, family. Oh, congratulations yeah. to them. That's wonderful. Hey, and once again, a reminder, there's still time to make it down to uh, the Family Day Fund from the Cobo Center. Those until 9 o'clock tonight. You can check out the cool cars, the cool rides, and lots of people in yep, fun. Bundle well. up and hop in the car and cruise on down there and see. Yeah.